we are going to be finally reunited with some very very special people that we don't get to see very often seems like we're the only childless people around here i know <laughs> figured out something that is so cool that you can do in the Philippines and I'm going to show you right now. We are back in the busy city and the weather continues to be so fantastic in the Philippines. It is so nice, beautiful blue skies and today is a very exciting day because we are going to be finally reunited with some very very special people that we don't get to see very often and they are here in the Philippines on a little bit of a trip and a little bit of an adventure. Today is the actual first day that we get to hang out with them. I'm so excited. Actually, two of them. Yes, true. Two of the people that we love so much, two of our friends. We're finally meeting them and I see them. Two, couple, <laughs> two couples, two families. Two families. Two families. Yes. Not two people, two families. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Two families. Seems like we're the only childless people around here. <laughs> I know. You've got peanut though. Ah, you've got peanut. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they did say that they're. Let's talk about something personal for a minute hair loss. It's a topic that we tend to avoid, but it's a reality for many of us including me. Now I'll be honest, seeing my hair thinning was not easy for me. It just hit me one day. I was looking into the mirror and I knew I had to do something. I scoured the internet for all possible options and that's when I found Keeps, an online service that's not only easy to use but a real game changer. The best part about Keeps, it is an FDA approved treatment and a unique two-in-one gel. And now guys, the numbers speak for themselves. To 90% reduction in hair loss and 35% increase in hair growth. And it's not just about stopping hair loss. Keeps also offers products like hair thickening shampoo and conditioner. It's all about overall hair care. From my experience, you start noticing changes in about six months, which is the most exciting part. And it's not just me talking here. Almost Almost a million guys have turned to Keeps and the reviews are over 4,500 five-star ones with really inspiring before and after photos. If you are facing hair loss and looking for a solution, this is it. Check out keeps.com forward slash making it happen blog or hit the link in the description. Trust me, it's worth taking the step. Hair loss stops here with Keeps. Hello. Daddy has to sit in here then, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so George. Hey. How's it been back in the Philippines? Oh, really nice, as always. It just feels, every time we come back, it feels more normal. It feels some, when we first had that year out, it was kind of like we came here and it was all kind of fresh and new. It felt like a different world, but this time more than ever just feels like like our second home really nice. is really right. is great to see you guys as what's, well what's the up. the biggest adventure you're looking forward to i think so lucy's dad and stepmom come out to, uh, on wednesday in a couple of days taking them to palawan oh, i think nice. it's got to be just yeah the high, hopefully the highlight for us for them um, <laughs> yeah just to see that beauty they've never even been to asia yeah so they've never seen any of that clear water you know and just them meeting the people and seeing the culture here trying some of the food just sharing that whole thing because we're so used to it now and the past we worked out we'd been coming to the philippines in seven different years oh, not, wow. not for seven years but in, in seven, seven different, different years. years and i thought it was still like four or five so we've had this whole like life experience never shared it with family so oh. it's just going to be magical oh, i'm excited yeah. for you thank you yeah <laughs> <laughs> should i hold the blue bit and you hold hold the pink bit with mike the little pink bit. bit Here at the bottom. The, where Mike's finger is. That's and then let's push it up at the same time. Three, two, one. Push it up. Oh. Oh. Push right it. at the bottom. There you there go. You hold Mike's fingers. There you go. And then we go. Uh, ah. Yeah. Not getting out. We're all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Thank you. <laughs> if you want that one, you have to give back this. Oh, okay. You're gonna give that one? You kind of need to work together here because you've yeah. only got enough for one. So. <laughs> <laughs> Not one of you can have all of it. I love it. It's so cute watching <laughs> kids try to like play. Oh, yeah, take it to the pool. Oh, that would be good, wouldn't it? You hold the stick. So, Lucy. So, hello. Nice seeing you guys again. It was lovely seeing you again. Nice, nice having you at home. Yeah. Where it's you so belong. It's so nice to be here. Wherever. <laughs> <laughs> 
I know. It's good to be back, oh, and we'll hang out more soon. Oh, yeah, yeah. I believe those. It's been wow. very nice. Nice little <laughs> coffee. Oh, great. Oh, there say? we go. He said, wear it, wear it. <laughs> <laughs> say bye to Mike. Bye bye. Say bye, vlog. What do you say to the camera? What do you say to the camera? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> in training. That's going to the, that's going to the intro. Yeah. <laughs> See you soon. Uh, yeah. One more year. See you soon. Yes. One more year, courtesy. Yes. Ah, oh, so nice seeing everyone again. It's nice that George and Lucy are in town a little bit longer this time. I think yes. it's it till the end of March, so we'll have some time to hang out together maybe do a quick trip together <sighs> but it's starting to get super hot i was saying like recently it's been a little bit cool in manila but now today it's blazing hot we're gonna just go we're just gonna grab some coffee and then go home because yesterday i cooked us a massive batch of sinigan my own little twist on gray's recipe and i think it turned out quite well right but the, the true test is going to come today Yes. Because the next day is always when Grey Sinigan sh absolutely shines. I don't know, just True. something happens yeah. overnight <laughs> with the, the broth and the meat and the stuff. It just becomes so delicious. So let's see if it's the same with mine or if mine just tastes awful the next day. No. <laughs> Look at this beautiful sky. What? So nice. What are we going to do with the rest of our day? We've got so much content to post from the Ilocos trip. I know. Got so much work to do. There's a lot of work to do. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We are leaving Manila tomorrow for another huge road trip. But before we leave, I need to fix up the car. The car is so, so messy. So I actually wanted to go to the car wash earlier, but my go-to car wash in BGC has closed indefinitely. They just closed. They're not there anymore. I went there today and it was empty. So I had to find an alternate solution. I figured out something that is so cool that you can do in the Philippines. And I'm gonna show you right now. Look at this guys. Look at this cool little mobile car wash thingy. This is not branded or sponsored or anything. I just saw them riding around. So I thought, let me give it a try. So I'm just gonna bring out the car, park it over there in the shade. And the Kuya is gonna wash the car just here. Don't need to go anywhere. So awesome. I mean, the car right now is just so filthy. Dirty. I go and talk to you, sir. Okay, I'll, I'll film a little bit because I'm doing a, a vlog as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so cool. Got all the equipment that he needs to clean the car right here. That is so cool. Vacuum cleaner, pressure washer. Very nice. Where do you keep the water? Uh, water in this area. Ah, okay. Wow, such a sunny day today again. So nice. <laughs> got a text message that the car is ready and clean let's go check it out ah nice and clean <laughs> purple all right it's a few days later and we have come out to robinson's magnolia for something very special what are we here for coffee coffee more than just coffee <laughs> Because we're launching a new product tomorrow actually so uh, when you're watching this video this is actually filmed today same day film and publish so we're launching a brand new product tomorrow that i'm very very excited about because it is a delicious very very delicious i haven't drink. tried it yet but i'm sure it's delicious oh we're gonna get a few of those drinks out for you guys to try so i'm here again with our friends they joined us here at robinson's magnolia christina brian thank you for joining us i'm excited hey what's up guys <laughs> It's been so long since you've been on the vlog. You know, I've actually, you know, yeah, I've missed being on the vlog. I, I like getting some uh, FaceTime there, so. Actually, literally, you're in this vlog already. Oh. <laughs> like when we met for breakfast, that's like the beginning of this vlog. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Hey, at least I'm not singing 
karaoke with a bottle of wine this time. There you go. <laughs> Okay guys, so here is the exciting new drink launching tomorrow. It is the half-half drink. On the bottom we have coconut water, crisp ice cold, and then on top we have different types of cream and assortment. My favorite is the Uber Matcha is fantastic too. Chocolate and coffee obviously amazing too, but you just have to try them all because everyone is like unique and has such an amazing flavor. I'm so excited for you guys to try this. Yeah, we're excited. Mm. <laughs> Mm. So the best way to drink these is to mix it up nicely and get everything incorporated. So the coconut water, the uber flavor, the sprinkles on top. Let me get this Are nice. Sugar sprinkles? <laughs> yes. Ooh, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> the sugar baby is excited about some sugar sprinkles. I spilled? Oh my. I'm going to be doing a lot more spilling just now. Take this one. Hold on, let me just turn it off. Hey. Hold your horses, Casey. Give that a try, guys. I want to see your reactions. <laughs> the kids are so selective with which cup they choose. They're very intentional. They want to make sure they get the one. Hold on, Roro. Oh, 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 let oh, your mom stand. get you, okay? Alright. Uncle Mike, you don't like Uber? I don't. Oh, you don't like Uber? Oh. Oh well, then give that back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bud. <laughs> so this tastes actually really good. Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. You got a non-Uber lover who likes the oh, Uber drink. Actually, you know what? That's a first. He's never had Uber ever. Oh really? No, no, no. He's I'm not, not Uber. He just doesn't okay, like well, it. Okay. Well, yeah. That he hasn't spit out. Yeah. My turn. My turn. My turn. Okay. 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 Go. <laughs> For your third? Mmm, it's really good. It reminds me of the... What's that thing you used to make for me in the morning with the milk? And then you pump it in the milk? Oh, it was the ube pong. Yeah, it was, yeah. I would do it with coconut cream and ube. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. This what is delicious. Dalgona? Do you remember that? The Dalgona thing? Yeah. That was so yeah. viral. Yeah. Yeah. I did it with time. coconut cream. And it has a very sweet flavor to it. Nice. That's ever when it comes to, I'm the most honest person ever when it comes to anything food, anything drinks. So although I love Mike and I love Morris, I'm gonna be brutally honest. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect that. Yeah, you like it? I love it. It's almost like drinking a melted ice cream, melted yes. ube ice yes, cream, and exactly. it's so satisfying because it's so frothy, it's so milky, it's so creamy all at the same time. Not rough because ube sometimes can be very rough, especially if you get it from the wrong place. Smooth, silky, very creamy, and just it's so delectable. Cheers! 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 That smell was the very first thing that hit me. Mmm, it's like the perfect ube and cream mixture together. Is that dairy cream or non-dairy cream? It's coconut water. Co but the cream in there, in the... Ah, uh, that's non-dairy cream. Okay, it's perfect then. <laughs> I'm a non-dairy girl, so... Mm. That works perfectly for me. I like with the coconut water how it mixes together and it makes it so it's not too dense or too thick. It just makes it very palatable. I love it. Nice. There's too much in next. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've had this before and that's exactly what I said. It's like melted ice cream. Also the only way I like to have my ice cream. And it's so satisfying. It's like creamy, but it's refreshing at the same time. I love this. I wonder who came up with this idea. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me, it wasn't me. Was it? Was it her? No, not me. <laughs> it was the team. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, okay. nice. Okay. okay. He really likes it. Brian, you gotta try. Yeah, let's do it. I just, you know, confession, full transparency, I'm a big ube lover. Ooh, nice. You know what? It really brings me back to my childhood memories that like the Magnolia brand kind of, you know, ube or even the street, I don't want to say dirty ice cream, but you know, that this is what it reminds me of. It's super excellent. Really good. Put it down. Yes, yeah, it's getting real mixed up. Tornado. Yeah. Lots of tornado. I see this is not your first time, gentlemen. Mommy's drink mixer? Yeah. <laughs> one at a time, one at a time, boys. Smell me first! Yeah. No! Still good stuff. Usually... Look at Look at my Usually, I'm not a big matcha lover, so this is... I don't know. This is great for me to try a matcha something. Mm. It's like the ube one. Really good. <laughs> That's what you say. <laughs> yeah, really good. Okay. Not matcha. Lover. Okay. Okay. Do you like? First of all, do you like matcha? <laughs> he does. He does. Mm, that one's really nice. It has the flavor like, like yeah, uh, matcha ice cream. It really reminds me of that. I love how all of these are light and airy, but they feel creamy at the same time. It really reminds me of Japanese ice cream. It's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's really nice. Like it? So, so far, which one's your favorite so far? Ube or matcha? Ube. Ube. Ube, Ube or matcha? Wow. Taste? Mm. I don't know. I really like both of them. <laughs> I don't know. Hey. Ube all the way. <laughs> Ube all the way. I love the Ube one. So, but the matcha is really good as well. It's just so... I don't know, refreshing is the only word I can find for it. Which is so surprising because it is creamy. Mm. Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I could barely taste the matcha. Yeah, I, do, I love you. I love you. <laughs> I believe in your talent, but I, mean, I love matcha so much and I love when I can taste the matcha I love when you can taste the grassiness not necessarily grassiness but the luxury of matcha in itself but you know that I love the matcha yeah, this is here. very subtle matcha flavor it's yeah. very, very subtle. subtle it's more on it's more creamy it's more on the creamy side but it, you can it, still it, taste it reminds me a little bit of like a matcha white chocolate there you go it's a matcha white chocolate it's very fragrant however I could barely taste the matcha Yeah, I see what you're saying. It is very subtle, yeah. but I still I can taste the matcha. It's for in it. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. You can definitely taste the matcha. It has this. Um, I'm trying to think of like a good word to because matcha is not an easy thing to describe. It's very really like you want to say green, but it's not really like a green like um. It doesn't taste like grass. No, it's it's like a tea. It really is like Every a tea kind of matcha, flavor. I like it. It's good. I still think I like ube better so far. Drink. Well, I mean, it smells subtle. I mean, because I've had some matcha that are overpowering. Uh, as far as texture goes, frothy, just like the first drink. But yeah, you know, I have to agree. I mean, it's good. It's a good subtle flavor for me. So I like it. Really good. Really good. So. Don't touch oh. mm, this one actually is really good. Usually the coffee is very bitter. This one doesn't have much of that strong coffee flavor. It's not as strong as I usually have it. Some, no, they're usually as mom's is that I have. <laughs> but this one's really nice. It's airy, creamy, and it's not too bitter. You, did, did you call my coffee bitter? No. <laughs> so, uh, where would you rank it in comparison to the matcha and the ube? Mm, I need out of 10. It's pretty good. Yeah? It's 
tastes good. Maybe good. Did you give yourself that mustache on purpose? No. I made this 9.5 out of 10. Wow. Nice. Nice. <laughs> so, between the three, which one's number one so far? Coffee. The ube was a 9. The macho was an 8.5. This is a 9.5. Wow. Wow. Nervous? I don't want to say nervous when I'm when I'm doing these uh, taste reviews because no, because I gotta follow Kason and Kason's such a you know good at uh, descript descriptive words, and then I just look like a Neanderthal when I'm you know, oh this is good you know like, yeah wow yeah 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 okay I see what Rowan's saying though no, this is I agree nine point five I'd say. Forget the ube. Don't get this is this is a drink right here. <laughs> really good. Just don't forget the ube. Don't forget the ube. <laughs> yeah, I think this one for me is the one that's the most like melted ice cream for sure. Mm. I smell it. Oh. Mm -hmm. There's a richness to it that you don't get with that ube. The ube has that sweet bit, but this one kind of hits you a little bit with that that bitterness that you would get from like a coffee. I like it. How about you love? I haven't tasted it yet. It just smells like <laughs> mm. Wow. I think I agree with everybody else. It's good. This is really good. And I agree with Rowan as well. It's sort of like, I don't know if you're familiar with the uh, coffee candies and when it melts in your mouth and it creates that yeah, co co taste. Co it, yeah, exactly. Co co when it creates that taste in your mouth, yeah, this yeah. is what it tastes like. Yeah, I like, but, it. like that, but if it was a drink. Right? And it was cold. Right? Yeah. And it's airy and it's crazy, yeah. right? This yeah. is why we can't do multiple vlogs in a day because we've got constant interruptions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah, this is the kind of interruption I need. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hmm. This one reminds me of like the matcha one. Really? It does. It has that same sort of like mouthfeel. Mm. But flavor? It's almost like milk chocolate and matcha together. Oh, interesting. So nice. mm. And the Gregor Cup too. Ten? <laughs> no, it's not. Ten. This is your favorite or what? What's your score? That's it. Tell us more, tell us more. Does it taste like... It's good. Powdered chocolate milk? This is an impression of your son giving a speech at his wedding. I'm a man of few words. Thank you. <laughs> so that's your favorite so far? Oh, wow. Your turn. My turn, okay. Mm. I can see what Kason is talking about. Yeah, but... Yeah. Really? I agree. I agree. I think... A little bit. You can I'd have it. You have a hint of it. Melted. Hmm. I feel like it's. What's that candy? Oh yeah, melted Kit Kats without the wafer. Ah. There you go. <laughs> That's the description. But I go with Kason on this one, and my favorite would have to be the ube. I knew it. Oh yeah. It does have this matcha ness to it. It's really? actually got a more matcha ness than the matcha did. What? Yeah. I, I gotta, I gotta see what this, what this is all about. I don't, I don't get the matcha. <laughs> really, matcha? Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you. I'll tell. Okay. <laughs> It doesn't taste like a typical chocolate milk or a chocolate drink. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's a little bit different. I think 
it kind of sets itself apart in that way. It's not your regular old chocolate. Wait, did you just say fishiness? Fishiness? I never thought about it. What is this? Chocolate. Oh. <laughs> I'm just like drinking, like shoving things in my mouth. Um, you love it's chocolate pretty good. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is uh, on the like a like a milky milky chocolate drink, not not like a dark chocolate, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll give us a nine. I like this. Yeah, it's really nice. good. My really question good. for you, because I've never had Milo. You've had Milo. Yeah. Does it remind you of Milo at all? No, so no? obviously the two drinks, Milo and Ovaltine, doesn't taste ne neither of those two drinks at all. It's a different kind. Different. Yeah, a different kind. I was sort of expecting it to be like Milo ish, yeah. Ovaltine ish, but not at all. Yeah.